Hello and thank you for joining. Today's topic is going to be an Excel 2013 tutorial and it's going to be tutorial number 12 and it's on advanced functions and it is a continuation from tutorial number 11 and what I'm going to cover on this tutorial is how to use the advanced functions left, right, and mid and with that said just want to point out my website is www.10minutetrain.com all of the tutorials will be posted out there and also here's some other links that may be of interest to you including the YouTube channel. So the first thing I'm going to do is start with the left function. So in this case if I want to extract the first number of letters or the first uh, number of characters or um, the first name I can do that with the left function. So I'm going to start off and show you an example here. I'm going to type equals left. I'm going to hit tab and the text is actually where you're selecting the text from and I could do number of characters here like let's say four and hit return you see it would pull down Tom's name but I'm gonna copy this down to the other cells and you can see what happens Nancy as an example gets cut off after four characters so we want to make it so it just picks up the first name everything before the first space so how we can do that is use the left function again And also, so it's still A2, but then we do another formula within this one, and we do something called find. And what we're doing, whoop, I didn't mean to do that, I meant F-I-N-D. And then what we do is we go in here and we find text. So what are we looking for? We're looking for a space, and we're looking for the first space. And one thing to note about the find formula is it searches from left to right. So we're going to find, I do open quote, space bar, and then close quote, and then comma, within text, which is again cell A2, and then I close that, and then I do minus one. And what that does is that the minus one takes one character back from the space. Whoop, sorry about that. Let's see what I did wrong here. Oh, it added the parenthesis on the back of it for me. That's what I did wrong. So now I'm going to drag that down. You'll see what will happen here is now I have everybody's full name and it doesn't truncate it or anything like that. So to explain that minus one in a little bit more detail, if I did minus two, it would take two characters off. So you can see um, T.O. Tom became T.O. And if I copied it down, you'd see that. So that's how that works. Um, you know, for I could change it from to plus two, and it would pick up part of the last name as an example. Okay, so that's what I want to show you with the left key. The right button or the right function is in this case. Let's assume I wanted to get the last five characters here, the zip code. I can say equals right, and the text that I want to um, choose from is the cell number here. And then what I would do is do the number of characters. So in this case, it would be five characters because the zip code is five characters long. And there you have it. So I pulled the last five off of that. I could change the number of characters to you know, seven or you know wh whatever number you want to. Um, however, um, this comes in handy in a scenario like this, but more than likely you're going to have variable lengths in here. So this, you might need to do a little bit more um, detail in here. So what I've done, so I found a great formula out here, a couple of them to extract mid and right. Um, so I'm going to show you a couple of things here. If this were a variable length, you would need to get a little bit more complex. So I'm going to go ahead and take this here and I am going to, in this case, I'm going to copy this formula I'm going to copy it into this cell, right? And what we're doing is we're using uh, embedded functions here uh, with several of them. We're using the trim function, we're using the write function, we're using substitute, and we're also using repeat. And in this case, what we're doing is we're pulling the last, we're extracting the last word, last word in this sequence of of uh, text here, or last sequence of uh, text without a space. So what I would do is I would copy this formula down, and keep in mind A2 references the cell you're extracting it from, and I'm going to do the same thing with the mid. So you can do several things with the mid, like for example, you can go in here and you can pull 
Um, you can use equals mid, and then you can hit tab, and then I could say, um, you know, A2, and then I could say start at cell 1, and, and give me the number of characters is 10. Or, sorry, let's start at character number 6, and we want to do 10 characters. And return that. And you can see what it does is it copies starting at starting at uh, character six and includes spaces in that and goes through ten. And so you can see that's what that does there. So that would be great if you had you know an identical sequence of uh, you know everything matched in, in a certain alignment, a certain format. But in reality, you're probably going to want to be able to extract say you know the street address or the last name. So here's another thing that um, that I've done here is I'm going to copy this actually I'm going to copy it from my notepad file and I am going to copy this over here and again this references cell A2 now we're using several functions here again instead of the right now we're using mid and then by the way this this number here is the whatever number of word you're trying to extract. So in this case I want to extract the third word. I'm going to hit return and it's 1000. So let's assume I wanted to extract the fifth word. It would be street. So I'm going to go ahead and change it back to three. And you can copy that formula. Let me copy this down and then you can pause the video and, and copy it. But that's how you would get the, the third word in this text file and that's the third based on the spaces okay so there you have it if you want to copy that um, feel free to use it and I uh, hope you enjoyed this I will come back with some more advanced functions and thanks for joining and please subscribe take care